and welcome back to a new vlog guys so in today's video we're going to go to home goods uh do some shopping for a christmas dinner and i'm not sure what else we're going to do but i will show you guys some updates too as well i am dressed for today i'll show you guys what i'm wearing here in a minute if you're new here hi my name is imani do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you're new and if you're returning then hey guys welcome back to the channel so guys let's go ahead and get started okay guys so outfit of today i am wearing my little hat that you guys know that i love and i am wearing these blue jeans right here which came from kohl's um this is the suit jacket that i got in the last vlog that is super cute it came from the goodwill and it was a dollar and it still has the shoulder pads and stuff in it so it looks really cute and then i just paired it with like these little black booties and um, i'm just wearing my regular little necklace today little ring i don't think i'm gonna do a watch or anything i'm gonna just keep it um like this i think it has enough accessories on an outfit just in general so this is what we are wearing today super cute i am loving this red jacket like wow super nice it fits me really cute okay fits me really cute and then the bag i'm gonna do you guys is this bag right here this bag is by Laura Scott, um, it's just a real classic bag. I like the aesthetics of this bag, so. And I paired it with this little belt right here today as well. But this is the bag, it's just like a little black leather with like the gold hardware, which you guys know that I love. And I was really thinking about wearing this as a crossbody today. Um, I don't really do crossbodies like that, but I thought this might be cute. So the outfit looks with the little, um, bag like this on a crossbody like i said i could do the crossbody or i could do um it on my shoulder but the crossbody is just more comfortable and it's big enough so i can fit my camera and everything in it so yeah this is the outfit for the day let me know what you guys think this can be covered and this can be you know buckled or whatever but i like to kind of keep it open a little bit so yeah i think it look cute with a little crossbody the material on this suit jacket yeah the material on this suit jacket is absolutely amazing very good quality still can't believe i got this for a dollar like i said it still has the shoulder pads in it and stuff like that so a real cute chic little outfit i love this so yeah that's what we're wearing today and now we're going to go ahead and head out i am going to go ahead and make some um iced coffee real quick also the perfume that i'm wearing today is um the ambry saffron which i believe is back at our dupe and then, yeah, so that's the perfume that I'm wearing today. I'm gonna go ahead and make the iced coffee real quick for the road. Yeah, so I'm using my cup right here, my to-go cup that actually came from Target, super cute. Um, and then I'm gonna get some coffee, put it in here. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day today. Comment below if you guys are done with Christmas shopping and then are you guys cooking for this Christmas season this year? These are so cute. Oh my God, that coffee is too good. The craziest stuff happened to me this morning. I'm gonna tell y'all when we get the car. It really was frustrating me, but it's fine. But hopefully it's not a problem. I'll see when I get there. We got our little lid right here and we got our coffee. So let's head out. So guys, we are now in the car and we about to go ahead and head out. The time right now is 10.51. We just do not have that much time, so. I'm about to head out. We do have a return at Home Goods, and what I was telling y'all earlier, I lost my receipts to my pillows, and I bought about a good six, seven pillows, and I gotta take half of them back. Lost my receipt, cannot believe that. So now, I'm about to walk in here with no receipt, hoping they can look it up with the credit card. But not just that, hoping I can still get my money back on my credit card. Like, I do not like going to stores without receipts. How y'all feel about that? Because they already look at us like, uh, like, I am not one of them, okay? About to go ahead and head out. 
that's what really had me frustrated this morning because I don't like going into a store and then having issues and then everybody looking at me like I'm the problematic black girl. Like, no, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm actually the sophisticated black woman with class and highly intelligent. Okay, these are the shades that we're doing, y'all. I can really do a shade in that suit jacket, so. these mirrors right here and I think I'm gonna go ahead and get these so the update is that I could not get my money back on the card which that's fine so all together the pillows that I brought back came to about $85 these are $79 a piece focus these are $79 a piece so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get these um, luckily it is two of them so one two and I'm liking the size of them and everything else. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go with these and just go ahead and use my credit because I got a credit now. <laughs> um, this will never happen again because luckily there's two of them and I'm liking the width. So let's go ahead and get these real quick.
Um, so I got some food for later. I am cooking for Christmas, but like, I don't do like, how can I put this? <laughs> I don't do like extreme meals, like literally like most of the stuff that I got is like pretty much kind of like pre-cooked already. Like I don't like do like fresh greens and all that. I just get like the glory greens and like, you know, these kind of yams and stuff like that. And then just kind of just put like my little touch on it. Um, yeah, so basically we got some brown sugar and I got two of these yams right here. And like I said, this is uh, for Christmas, y'all. Kroger's had these real cute little butter cookies, so I ended up getting some of these. I got some little cooking spray, non-stick. And then also I got a onion. I got this elbow macaroni for the Mac. Now I do cook this kind of by scratch. Um, and then I got butter. And then I got some cheeses for the Mac. I got like four, that's only three, but I got like four cheeses for the Mac and cheese. Um, this is another one. I got marshmallows for my yams. Comment below, like, do you guys put marshmallows on your yams? Got some whip for the hot cocoa. Got some Nestle hot cocoa. Cream cheese for the mac and cheese. <laughs> and then these are the greens that I use, which is the mixed green beans, Lloyd greens, comment below and let me know if you guys use these or not. I basically do the same meal like every year, so yeah. Oh, my cookies are smashing. I got these cookies right here, love these, they're so good. And then I had to get a whole gallon of milk, literally. I love milk with my cookies, but I also need it to cook too as well. And then we got some orange juice. Sour cream for the Mac. And y'all, Pillsbury had these new, um, these new things I ain't never heard of. When I see them, I had a snag them. I said, ah, oh, yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be our cornbread. So y'all, they got these cornbread swirls by Pillsbury now, and I said, I have never seen these in my life. I said, oh yeah, we gonna have these for uh Christmas. So I'm super excited to try those. And then I got some honey for my tea and then also for the um, yams. So that's everything I got from Kroger. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything up real quick. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Welcome to a brand new day. So right now the time is 12.01, it's 12 o'clock already. I've literally been editing all day. Um, I'm just 
kind of tired but you guys i'm really excited for um some things that's coming to the bedroom as you guys seen yesterday i did get some mirrors from home goods that i'm super glad that i got now look this is the thing hear me out sister so look i do like the mirrors from walmart like they're really cute whatever but i was gonna have to spray paint those maybe add a little razzle dazzle you know i would have did it if i you know but a few days ago i was on pinterest and i was like i was looking at these other mirrors and i was like wait a minute my style is elegant so i need to have something that's up to par right so girl um <laughs> when i was in home goods yesterday and I, like i said when i took those pillows back i ended up seeing these little mirrors and i'm like these are the mirrors that i need i do feel like i need bigger mirrors i do feel like i need wider mirrors and the height is still the same but it just it's it's it looks more grand like i feel like it'll really like contrast really well with my new king bed i just feel like it will look a lot better than those walmart mirrors because i feel like the walmart mirrors are just really getting swallowed and they're really just getting overshadowed by the bed in general because let's be clear the bed is the focal point right so i need something that's gonna scale on both sides that's gonna really make it pop if i'm gonna have mirrors on the side so yeah, these mirrors like I got yesterday are absolutely gorgeous. I am going to show you guys the mirrors that I ended up getting yesterday. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. I just wanted to say thank you guys for the support. And um, I see all you guys' comments who um, constantly comment in the first comments who is always on my videos. I just want to say I see you, sister. And, um, and I love you guys. And I just appreciate the support. Also, it is Christmas Eve. So I want to say Merry Christmas Eve to you and you guys' family. I hope you guys all have a wonderful holiday. But yeah, these mirrors right here and... <laughs> I'm excited. So I did make some um, coffee this morning. So I made some coffee this morning. And I just have like some like whipped cream and stuff in there with like some little caramel, which is like my normal. First and foremost, you guys, um, what I love about this mirror is that this mirror kind of reminds me of my big mirror that I have, my um, long mirror. And that's what I loved about these. These did come from Home Goods, and they are uh, 48 inches tall. So they're about this tall. And they're absolutely gorgeous and they're about this long so as you guys can see they're pretty long okay so and they're um 18 inches wide the detailing on these mirrors are absolutely gorgeous now y'all these mirrors was 80 dollars a piece i'm <laughs> oh sister i ain't gonna lie like these was 80 dollars a piece now y'all see where i had a credit for like 80 something dollars which i was telling y'all the other day i had a credit for like 80 something dollars so with my credit i did purchase one and then with the rest i just purchased the rest off my credit card but these were 79.99 and they did come from home goods and i absolutely love the detailing on these it has like that um silver like beaded detailing on the side which is super cute um you guys i love these <laughs> i love these and i feel like these are the kind of mirrors that i need for my bedroom like comment below and let me know if you guys agree these are the kind of mirrors that i needed not the ones from walmart but these these sister now look i did start looking for them online i seen some on um overstock for like 128 dollars and then i went on wayfair and they had them for like 168 dollars so honestly getting these for 79 80 dollars really wasn't bad at all like honestly they charging a lot for these mirrors so i do believe i got a pretty good deal and then considering how long they are so glad i decided to get these mirrors very gorgeous like quality top notch you guys know that home goods just have good quality in general so i'm just really excited to have good quality mirrors inside the room and like i said they are silver and they just look gorgeous uh the brand is lux decor life and it actually has hold on, it says scan for inspiration so hold on they got this little scan thing where you can scan for inspiration i'm gonna see um what this little scan thing is and i'm gonna show y'all real quick so guys these are the mirrors and they are so nice like wow like i said this is the brand no this video is not sponsored but that is the brand of the mirrors i just think the mirrors are very good quality um like i said they did come from home goods and i got two of them i'm so glad i was able to snag two like i just feel like it was really meant to be 
And this is the little barcode right there. And y'all, I went on a website and they got a whole website where they sell home decor, um, wall decor, beds, furniture, all kind of stuff. So it's a really cute little website. But yeah, this is how much they were, um, which was $79. Like I said, I did get one with my credit. But guys, tell me. This is not a total upgrade from the ones that we have in there now. These are the mirrors that we're gonna put in the room. I just feel like they match my space better and just my decor style and stuff like that. So now I'm gonna show you how to update. Okay y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the update. So first off, <laughs> um, I did move the bed over here a little bit. And I also feel like I moved it over here for one because I am going to put new mirrors over here and I wanted to have enough space but I'm still debating if I want to scoot it over here a little bit more but I think I can kind of make like an illusion with the curtains so I feel like if I make the curtains kind of come out more with like the rod and stuff then I should be able to extend them out to where they um meet up with the headboard like I said this is just where I want to place the bed because over there it just don't make sense to put it over there especially in front of that window comment if you guys agree I just did not feel the need to put this bed on this wall and cover up that whole window. It just didn't seem right to me. And then also just covered up that light too that um, came in. So I just feel like this was the best place to put the bed. Yeah, I know it's in front of a window, but I could still, um, like I said, extend these out and it actually look um, more even and stuff like that. So the update, girl. So the update is these side tables. Okay, so I did have some side tables that um, are actually tall enough to be on the side. Now, it's not like chess, so it don't have drawers or anything. If you were OG, then you probably remember these side tables that was in my um, apartment, um, in my living room when I first um, start decorating and stuff like that. So I did have these, so these are pretty old. They did come from Ross, I believe. These was about, I think these was like $34. But I've had them for quite a while now. I actually got these when I had got the white entryway table with the gold legs. And then it has like a mirror at the top. So I did get these just for like inspiration. But I will say that I might use this in my decor. I don't know. But I feel like if I do decide to do side dressers, I definitely want them to be this height. Then also have like the little long mirror on the side. So like I said, this is... <laughs> This is the Walmart mirror right here. Like I said, I was going to paint it chrome, but y'all, it's just a no for me. Um, especially since I got the ones that I got, they just they just match the space way better. So I end up putting these on the side. And then I have the other one on that side too as well. So as you guys can see, they are tall enough. So I do like that. So, um, so like if I was to put a lamp right here like this, this is how it would look. Y'all see what I'm saying? Like, so with the lamp and then the table, like it just really elevates it. So yeah, and like I said, obviously if I was to do lamps, I would do this height lamp too as well because it just flows, right? That mirror's going, that mirror's also going. You guys just seen a new mirror. So that is the update in the room, y'all. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like these side table heights? And then also, do you guys like the like vision that you guys see me going for? And then also putting a lamp too right here as well. And then how do you guys feel about the mirrors um, being put back here, the new mirrors? I think they're gonna really upgrade the space, okay? And then eventually I do wanna get some different side tables, but I feel like for now, those are fine, especially for like inspiration until I find something that I actually wanna do. Cause I don't want too many mirrors in here. so. I don't mind if I have side tables that's not mirror. Um, Cause I know my last one was mirror and then I had the mirrors behind it, which kind of gave it like a luxe look. But even if I even if I did have side tables and it wasn't mirror, that's fine too as well. Cause I feel like it's enough mirror in here and I don't want to um, overdo it. Which this mirror ended up coming from um, Home Goods. I believe this mirror was like $80 too as well. And um, I was thinking about putting this mirror and hanging it like up here somewhere y'all. So I had the other mirror. I feel like I might want to take this mirror right here and like hang it up here and like try to like create like a little space right there so yeah i thought that was cute and then like i said we put the curtains up so yeah i'm debating if i want to leave one curtain up because i feel like two of them are just doing too much and then take one off of there and then put it in the middle of here because 
I do need a new curtain in there, so um, you guys don't have to tell me that in the comments because I know that I need a new curtain right there. Rather if I order some more from Amazon or take one off of there and then see how one look over here. So another update, guys. I end up keeping my old rug. So um, this is the rug from um, my old bedding. It is a seven by nine. I did get it from Amazon, and then when I put it in the room, I had noticed that it fits this space as well. So I'm like. Why not keep that right there? At least for now. So that's another update. Um, it's like a kind of like shaggy rug, but I do want like a different like kind of rug. Um, but I was debating if I wanted to do gray because I was like, oh well, will gray look right on a gray headboard? And I was really putting too much thought into it because there's nothing wrong with the gray rug with the gray headboard. I think it's just all like neutral, and I've seen it done before too as well. So this is another update that I end up putting my rug back into my room. And then when I get a new one, it might be like kind of gray or something like that. But yeah, that's another update right there is that I put that rug in the room. Let me know what you guys think about the gray rug. And just kind of contrasting with the gray bed. I feel like the rug is lighter than the bed anyway. So I feel like it just goes. So let me know what you guys think. These are the mirrors. As you guys can see, it is a significant, a significant, <laughs> let me stop playing. It is a significant difference. Yeah, guys, that's why I got them because y'all look at this. Now, this is luxury, honey. That's luxury. They're literally swallowing <laughs> the mirrors behind there, like, <laughs> literally. And like I said, you can, like, see the other one better over there. And like I said before, um, they're obviously not going to be on the table, but they're going to be up. So, they're going to go about the same height as the Walmart mirror. So, the Walmart mirrors are right here. And they're going to go up there too as well. So they're going to look even more big, even more grand, and I'm even more excited. So let me see if you guys can see. So like, it was like on this end, see how you can see like both sides, like kind of evenly. And then the Walmart ones are in the back. So y'all, so cute. Now, I do like the detailing on this um, mirror. Like I said before, it has like these silver like beaded, um, little things on there and it just looks a lot more luxury and I just love the look of it like I said because it kind of reminds me of my other one so I love that except that one don't have the beads and stuff and this one does but to me this just kind of adds a little bit more of a custom look with it having the beads on there and it just matches perfect with the gray headboard so yeah comment let me know what you guys think do you guys think these mirrors are better than the ones from Walmart I would have to say uh, yes. So the ones from Walmart are actually 13 inches and a half in width. And these are actually 18 inches. And they're 48 inches tall. So yeah. So it's like picture these. And then picture some side tables. And then some lamps. It's going to go so cute. So yeah. Love that for me. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And guys, last but not least. I wanted to show you guys my Christmas gift that I ended up getting from my man. He got me a new iMac and I'm so excited to do new content on here. It looks so beautiful. Like it looks so good. Just want to give a shout out to my man for gifting me this for Christmas. He is really the GOAT. And then right here I have my MacBook Pro which is my laptop. Um, which he bought to as well. <laughs> so yeah, this is my um, MacBook Pro that I ended up getting for, I think this was, I, I think I got this for my birthday gift, 2020. But Christmas 2021, I got a iMac, so the screen is actually bigger. Um, and it's just, everything is just done on a bigger scale. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks really cute with a desk. Like, so chic, like girl but really nice um it is super cute uh, it is a 5k retina screen the keyboard is a bluetooth magic keyboard and then also a um, bluetooth magic mouse as well it is by apple really cute i love this so like i said the it's very beautiful so that's how it looks when it is actually on absolutely gorgeous like it is just so cute and I just think it just matches the space perfectly. But I just want to show you guys this real quick. 
so cute comment below are you guys like computer girls <laughs> or boys um and do you guys own any apple products as well so yeah okay my love so that is going to conclude today's video um, i hope you guys enjoyed everything that took place i want to say merry christmas to you all and i just love you guys so much and i really appreciate the support from you guys um let me know what you guys think about the mirrors inside the room um are they better than like the walmart mirrors i think so of course <laughs> But then also, let me know what you guys feel about a gray rug actually being with a gray headboard. Do you guys think it's like cohesive or like do you guys think I should do like a different color? I think the gray is fine because it's all like neutral so that's fine. And then also comment let me know, do you guys own any Apple products? Or do you guys have like a MacBook or like an iMac or anything? And what did you want for Christmas? Comment below, let me know. Comment and let me know about the food for Christmas and holidays. Do you guys cook everything from scratch? Do you guys use like, you know, canned greens and you know candy yams and stuff like that but comment let me know merry christmas i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys